Hi, this is Arun. I'm a certified professional coder. In this video, we're going to see how to build a vaccine administration course. There are six CPT codes used for vaccine administration. 90460 is for 0 to 18 years of patient age via any route of administration with patient counseling. This is a component based code. 90460 is for the first or only component on each vaccine or toxoid administered. 90461 is for each additional vaccine component or toxoid component administered. 90471 is for over 18 years of patient age. The route of administration is intradermal, subcutaneous, intramuscular. This is for the first vaccine. 90472 is for each additional vaccine. 90473, the route of administration is intranasal or oral. This is for the first vaccine. 90474 is for additional vaccine. In this slide, I'll tell you how to code for a administration based on component as well as vaccine. Let's assume the patient ages between 0 to 18 years and the counseling was given to the patient. There are three vaccines given. Each vaccine has a different components. First vaccine consists of one component, so I'm billing 90460, one unit. There is no add-on CPG. Second vaccine consists of four components, so I'm billing 90460, one unit. And the remaining three units I'm billing with 90461. The third vaccine consists of three components. So I'm billing 90460 one unit. The remaining two units I'm billing with 90461. So finally, we have to bill 90460 three units and 96461 five units. This is based on the component. Based on the vaccine, there are totally three vaccines given. So I'm billing 90471 one unit. The remaining two units I'm billing with 90472. Medicare has a different guideline on billing administration for influenza, pneumococcal, and hepatitis B. Whenever you're billing for this administration, bill G0008 for administration of influenza virus vaccine. G0009 for administration of pneumococcal vaccine, G0010 for administration of hepatitis B vaccine. Not only Medicare, some Medicare managed care plan also following the same guidelines. So whenever you're billing administration of these three CPTs, always check with the payer. Always bill DXZ23, encounter for immunization for both the vaccine and administration codes. Uh, when it comes to the sequencing the vaccine and admin, there is no specific sequencing order, but when you're billing with an ENM visit and other visits, always bill the ENM visit first, then vaccine and admin codes. When vaccine and admin build with an ENM visit, check CC edits and add appropriate 25 modifier with the ENM visit. Always mention the NDC number for all vaccine codes in order to avoid the NDC denials. If the drug is supplied by patient, build the CPT with PS modifier and build zero dollar value. Then build the administration code. Always build both the vaccine and administration on the same claim form in order to avoid the unnecessary denials. Thanks for watching the video.